Hello everyone, welcome to Topper IS Daily Current Affairs Analysis. Let's start with first article. What is site directed nucleus? Actually, this is a gene editing technique. So we are editing gene without taking outside gene here. So we are just tweaking the gene that is already there in the plant without bringing any gene from the outside. So the proteins come from outside organism. If you if the protein come from outside organism, we should care about the safety of that product. But this is this is nothing but natural uh, mutation. So even the plant and organisms change their little bit genes protein through the natural mutation. This is also same process. So we we should not worry about the safety of that. Even normal uh, genetic modification is nothing but outside gene is added. But here inside directed nucleus the outside gene is not added. So one MCQ about this. Side directed nucleus is recently seen in news which is related to genetic modification without taking outside gene. 100 monuments illuminated as part of 1 billion vaccination done in India. So even in Karnataka, Hampi temple was illuminated with a tricolor of national flag. Archaeological Survey of India lit up these 100 monuments that is 100 heritage monuments in tricolors of national flag. So these 100 monuments include 17 UNESCO World Heritage Sites that is Red Port, Kutub Minar, Humayun Tomb, Tugalakabad Port, Purana Kilas, Patepur Sikri, Ramappa Temple, Hampi, Dolvira, Ancient Lay, Palace and Currency Building and even Metcalf Al Kajuravu Temple and Golconda Fort. One MCQ about this that is 1 billion vaccination in India. Which of the monuments are illuminated? That is Red Port, Hampi, Ramappa Temple. So answer will be all of the above. Right to movement versus right to protest. What is this right to movement and right to protest? So, so recently Supreme Court said that the public road should not be blocked to hamper the free movement. Because the court said that in recent in recent case that is Shahina Bag protest case that is the right to protest should not hamper the right to movement of the public that's why right to uh, protest should not hamper the movement of right to movement so they should not block the public roads while protesting next vaccination 21st October 2021 India reaching landmark of 100 core vaccine doses but this vaccination drive has many challenges because vaccine first reason is vaccine hesitancy or inaccessibility. Out of one or three adult population, only 29 crore pupils com completed both their doses. Even 42 crore people doesn't take second dose, only take first dose. And approx 32 crore people doesn't take any vaccines. So, second point is Independent commission should be established to look into the COVID vaccine deaths. Then newer and deadlier variants. This vaccine may not able to protect from the new and deadlier variants. And United States of Food and Drug Administration approved mixing of COVID-19 vaccine and boost, boosting the doses. But India still not taken any decision to uh, approve this uh, COVID-19 vaccine mixing or boosting the doses and India is yet to take the decision and even excess production capacity and manpower required even to increase the production of vaccine so the production capacity should be increased and even uh, manpower also skilled manpower also required for this which of the following are the challenges for vaccination that is vaccine hesitancy new and deadlier variants and production capacity the answer will be all then Indian productionism, the average taxes should, uh, is for the imported item increase from 9% to 14%. So that it is for to protect the local industries and the local exporters. To protect the local exporter and the local industry, the India 
used this protectionism technique that is average taxes on import items it increased uh, in 2011 uh, in 2011 it is 9 percent and it increased to 14 percent in 2014 and even india is imposing anti-dumping duties to protect the uh, exporters or uh, uh, domestic industry to protect from this imported products and even general agreement and tariffs on trade uh, allows nations to impose ban on silver and gold export or import why it is uh, giving uh, opportunity to ban silver and gold product because, uh, because silver and gold are uh, very costly so to address the problems of balance of trade he, this GATT as giving uh, permission to impose ban on the silver and gold import and exports but nations can also put restrictions one more oppor uh, one one more thing is nation can also put restriction on import of any goods or service except uh, mm, other than silver and gold they can also put uh, restriction on import of any goods and service if it is damaging the local industry but india recently amended this custom act of 1966 and it gives power to the central government to ban uh, import or export of any of the goods even uh, not just the gold and silver any of the goods of import and export can be banned this power was given to central government but it if it if it uh, requires to protect the economy but it is uh, against the spirit of gat then third thing pm call for vocal and vocal for local it giving preference to domestically made goods it creating an ecosystem where imports are leaked within the look good at this this done next pm shakti pm gati shakti scheme it is a national master plan for multi-modal connectivity it monitoring empowered group of secretaries and it is headed by cabinet secretary what is pm shakti scheme it is a national master plan its aim is to coordinate planning and execution of infrastructure projects especially to reduce the logistic cost so it is a digital platform it has 16 ministries and department and also it includes railways and roadways the idea is to coordinate an execution of infrastructure connectivity project across the country and it uh, it uh, planning to take the 100 black crore projects in holistic infrastructure and this existing infrastructure scheme is under the various ministries it will incorporate incorporate into the plan so it will incorporating all the plans like sagarmala bharat mala udan scheme and inland waterways etc even is this master plan also cover economic zones that is pharmaceutical clusters textiles clusters defense corridor industrial corridor and even electronic parks space fishing cluster agri zones etc it uh, will also leverage the ex technology extensively especially for spatial planning tools this master plan will also seamless movement of goods and people all across the country this the main intention is to assure the seamless movement of goods and people all across india without any obstacles and even it also provide public and business community information regarding upcoming connectivity project and business hubs and industrial areas and surrounding environment it raises possibility of future economic zones as well it also an umbrella integrator it uh, worth of cost is about uh, 111 lakh crore and uh, this project was bring under the national In infrastructure pipeline for 2020-25 so mcq about this pm gati shakti scheme is a national master plan aimed at coordinated planning and execution of infrastructure project in india to reduce the logistic cost and this social sector scheme in relation to pension sector is a atal pension yojana and social welfare scheme in india for reduction in cost of cfl is a budget lamp yojana and program aimed at providing uninterrupted uninterrupted power supply to rural sector of india is a deen dayal upadhyay gram jyoti yojana so 
Next, uh, MCQ, Gati Shakti is a digital platform that will bring 16 ministries and departments and except railways and roadways. No, it's wrong because it is a main uh, infrastructural project to uh, reduce the logistic cost. That's why it include railways and roadways also. This is wrong and it will provide public and business community information. Yes, it is covering and this was launched as an umbrella integrator. Yes, it is under the national infrastructure pipeline. Yes, so both two and three, right? So answer will be two and three. That's all for today. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comment section. If you like the video, please like, share, comment on and uh, subscribe, to, subscribe to the Topper IAS channel. Thank you. Thank you all.